Farewell and thanks for the laughs, a tribute to Matthew Perry. Matthew Langford Perry, August 19, 1969 to October 28, 2023, was a celebrated American-Canadian actor who left an indelible mark on the worlds of television and film. His career was defined by remarkable performances and a wide range of accomplishments. Perry gained global recognition during the 1990s when he brought the character Chandler Bing to life on the iconic NBC television sitcom Friends, 1994-2004. This role not only captured the hearts of audiences worldwide but also earned him a prestigious Screen Actors Guild Award in recognition of his talent and contributions. While Perry's portrayal of Chandler Bing is perhaps his most celebrated role, his career encompassed a rich tapestry of both television and film achievements. He took on lead roles in the television series Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip and graced the big screen with appearances in films such as Fools Rush In, Almost Heroes, The Whole Nine Yards, The Whole Ten Yards, The Ron Clark Story, and Seventeen Again. His ability to seamlessly transition between comedic and dramatic roles showcased his versatility as an actor. Matthew Perry's artistic talents extended beyond acting. In 2010, he lent his voice to the character Benny in the popular video game, Fallout, New Vegas, demonstrating his diverse skills within the entertainment industry. Moreover, Perry's creative involvement went beyond performing. He co-created, co-wrote, served as an executive producer, and starred in the ABC sitcom Mr. Sunshine, which ran from February to April 2011, underscoring his commitment to delivering quality content to television audiences. In August 2012, Perry took on the role of sportscaster Ryan King in the NBC sitcom Go On, further solidifying his reputation as a versatile and accomplished actor in the world of television comedy. Perry's contributions to the small screen extended to a revival of the classic CBS sitcom, The Odd Couple, where he co-developed and starred as Oscar Madison from 2015 to 2017, reaffirming his enduring appeal and talent within the industry. Matthew Perry's untimely passing in October 2023 marked a poignant loss for the entertainment world. He leaves behind a legacy of exceptional performances and a body of work that will be remembered and cherished by fans and industry peers alike. His contributions to both comedy and drama on screen will continue to resonate for generations to come. Matthew Perry was born on August 19, 1969, in Williamstown, Massachusetts. His family background was diverse and intriguing. His mother, Suzanne Marie Morrison, Nay Langford, born in 1948, is a Canadian journalist who had a prominent role as the press secretary to Canadian Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau. On the other hand, his father, John Bennett Perry, born in 1941, is an American actor and former model. Matthew's early life was marked by the separation of his parents before he reached his first birthday. Subsequently, his mother married Canadian-born broadcast journalist Keith Morrison. Matthew was primarily raised by his mother in Ottawa, Ontario, although he also had brief stints living in Toronto and Montreal. His educational journey took him to Rockcliffe Park Public School, where he shared classrooms with future Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Later, he continued his education at Ashbury College. While growing up, Matthew Perry developed a strong passion for tennis and proved himself as a top-ranked junior player. His formative years were characterized by a diverse upbringing and early achievements in the world of sports. Matthew Perry's career was marked by a series of notable achievements and diverse roles in both television and film. At the age of 15, Perry made a pivotal move from Ottawa to Los Angeles to live with his father, where he began his journey into acting. He graduated from the Buckley School in Sherman Oaks in 1987. During his high school years, he explored improvisational comedy at the L.A. Connection in Sherman Oaks. His early career featured a range of roles, including playing Chaz Russell in the TV series Second Chance, which later transformed into Boys Will Be Boys after 13 episodes. 
Perry's big screen debut occurred in the 1988 film A Night in the Life of Jimmy Reardon. In 1989, he had a three-episode arc on the series Growing Pains. Perry's talent landed him a regular role on the 1990 CBS sitcom Sydney, where he portrayed the younger brother of Valerie Bertinelli's character. He made a guest appearance on Beverly Hills 90210 in 1991 as Roger Azarian. In 1993, he took the starring role in the ABC sitcom Home Free. Notably, Perry's commitment to a different pilot prevented him from being considered for a role in Six of One, later known as Friends. However, he got the chance to audition for Six of One and was cast as Chandler Bing. At the age of 24, he became the youngest member of the main cast. During the peak of Friends, Perry and the main cast were among the highest paid actors on television, making $1 million per episode by 2002. This iconic show earned him an Emmy nomination in 2002 for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series. In addition to his television work, Perry appeared in films like Fools Rush In, Almost Heroes, Three to Tango, The Whole Nine Yards, The Whole Ten Yards, and Serving Sarah. Perry's television career extended to appearances on The West Wing as Associate White House Counsel Joe Quincy, earning him two Emmy nominations for Outstanding Guest Actor in a Drama Series. He also played attorney Todd Merrick in two episodes of Ally McBeal. In the mid-2000s, Perry made his directorial debut and acted in an episode of the fourth season of the comedy-drama series Scrubs, which featured a special appearance by his father. He starred in the TNT movie, The Ron Clark Story, for which he received a Golden Globe and an Emmy nomination. Perry joined the cast of Aaron Sorkin's drama, Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip, from 2006 to 2007, playing Matt Albee alongside Bradley Whitford's Danny Tripp. In 2014, Perry made his British TV debut in the one-off comedy program, The Dog Thrower. From 2015 to 2017, he starred in, co-wrote, and served as an executive producer of the sitcom revival, The Odd Couple, on CBS, playing Oscar Madison. Perry ventured into playwriting with, The End of Longing, which premiered in London in 2016 and later had an off-Broadway production in 2017. He reprised his role as attorney Mike Cristeva in, The Good Fight, a sequel to the CBS drama, The Good Wife. Perry also portrayed Ted Kennedy in the miniseries, The Kennedys, after Camelot. In 2018, Business Insider reported Perry's net worth to be approximately $80 million. In October 2022, Perry published a memoir titled, Friends, Lovers, and The Big Terrible Thing, which quickly became a bestseller on both Amazon and the New York Times charts. Matthew Perry's personal life was marked by a mix of relationships, health challenges, and notable moments. He held dual Canadian and American citizenship. Over the years, he dated several well-known individuals, including Yasmin Bleeth in 1995, Julia Roberts from 1995 to 1996, and Lizzie Kaplan from 2006 to 2012. In 2009, Perry appeared as a guest on The Ellen DeGeneres Show and made a unique gesture by presenting Ellen DeGeneres with an Xbox 360 system and a copy of the video game Fallout 3. This led to game studio Obsidian Entertainment casting him in Fallout, New Vegas, showcasing his unexpected connection to the gaming world. In 2018, Perry faced a serious health challenge when he spent five months in the hospital due to a gastrointestinal perforation. During this hospitalization, he nearly lost his life as a result of a colon rupture, which was related to opioid abuse. Perry spent two weeks in a coma and required the use of a colostomy bag for nine months. At the time of his admission, doctors informed Perry's family that he had a mere 2% chance of survival. He was connected to an ECMO, extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, machine, which essentially breathed for him highlighting the severity of his medical condition. In November 2020, Perry announced his engagement to literary manager Molly Hurwitz. 
However, the engagement was later called off in 2021, marking a change in his personal life. Matthew Perry's journey included a battle with addiction, as well as his subsequent advocacy efforts. Perry's struggles with addiction began after a jet ski accident in 1997 when he became addicted to Vicodin. He took a pivotal step towards recovery by completing a 28-day rehab program that same year. His journey to sobriety was marked by challenges, with his weight fluctuating significantly, dropping to 145 pounds, 66 kilograms, due to pancreatitis. In February 2001, Perry made the courageous decision to enter rehab once again, this time to address an addiction to not only Vicodin but also methadone, amphetamines, and alcohol. His commitment to recovery led to a significant financial investment in his health, with Perry estimating that he had spent $9 million to regain sobriety. Reflecting on the impact of his addiction, Perry revealed that he could not recall three years of his time while acting on Friends, a period that spanned from seasons three to six of the show. Despite his own struggles, Perry became an advocate for addiction recovery and rehabilitation. In 2011, he lobbied the U.S. Congress as a celebrity spokesperson for the National Association of Drug Court Professionals, advocating for funding to support drug courts. His efforts were recognized in May 2013 when he received the Champion of Recovery Award from the White House Office of National Drug Control Policy. Furthermore, as part of his commitment to supporting those in need of rehabilitation, Perry opened Perry House, a rehab center, in his former mansion in Malibu, California. Although he later relocated it in 2015, his dedication to helping others on their journey to recovery remained an essential part of his life. Tragically, on October 28, 2023, the Los Angeles Police Department made a somber discovery as officers found Matthew Perry lifeless in a hot tub at his Los Angeles residence. He was 54 years old at the time of his passing. Reports suggest that just before his death, he had been engaged in a game of pickleball for a period of approximately two hours. Preliminary information from police sources, as reported by TMZ, indicated that Perry had apparently drowned. Importantly, there were no drugs found at the scene, and investigators did not uncover any evidence of foul play. The circumstances surrounding his untimely death were a source of deep sadness for his fans and the entertainment world at large. Primetime Emmy Awards, 2021 Outstanding Variety Special, Pre-Recorded Nominated for, Friends, The Reunion Books Perry, Matthew, November 1, 2022 Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, A Memoir Forward, Lisa Kudrow Published by New York, Flatiron Books ISBN 978-1-250-86644-8 OCLC 133-884-1699